Good day everyone. Um, here we are again in the studio. I've got some new products that I wanted to to test. It's a new acrylic paint. Um, so I won't be revealing the name of it just yet because I want to see if it works first. And what I'm doing is I just got this little box. I thought it would be a good idea to test the pour on here. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just, I'll show you, just got a little bit of masking tape and just rolling it or folding, folding it to create that like a double-sided tape. But if you've got a double-sided tape, you can do it. But this is not too sticky, so I'll be able to take it off easy. Oh. Anywho, so all I do is I've already done two sides so i'll go all the way up to the edge and just press it down and this bit here i might have to cut because you won't be able to fold it's too long just to stop that from pour uh, pouring underneath and making a mess so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pop it down now and squeeze it I'll push it down. Oh, it's supposed to get in there. There we go. So now it's in. See? Just sort of arrange it so it works good. This one I might have to push in a little bit because it's sticking out and I want that paint to... Actually, that's the front bit. So as long as I know this is the front, this is where it opens. And that's the back. All right, let's see how we go with this new paint. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this white on first. I'm just going to add a little bit of water in there to water it down a little bit because that's going to be going over the whole thing. Oops, to help the pour. Give it a stir. Okay. So it's uh, taking a, a little while for that water to stir in, but there we go. It's stirred in nicely. And I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. Because I wanted a little bit more water down. And then see how I go. I've seen um, this paint on the internet so I wanted to try it out and see if it's as good as a few people have said. It's still pretty thick but here we go. I'm just going to pour it down. Oh it's sort of uh, very elasticy, if I can say that. So spread that out, use your hands. I'm going to try not to get too messy. But I'm trying to work quickly. It's definitely different. Different than normal paint. Go down so it helps me down here with the pour. Oops. Maybe hold it underneath. Sorry. Yeah, see that? It's sort of. Can you see that? It's like a gel. Just doing the sides now, really quickly. stuff's coming off so I just stick it down a bit all right so I thought of doing a, a dirty pour let me just oh gosh sorry about that guys are you still with me yep okay 
pop that underneath. Apparently no need to torch, no need to put, add any additives, it just does its own thing. So got that white in here. I'm just going to add all these colours that I have. So I've got this sort of a bluey greeny colour straight in there, straight out of the bottle. And I might put a little bit of this gold. Apparently gold should be used last, but I'm going to put just a tiny little bit in there. Some of this red maybe. I've only got a few colours and some of this uh, like a turquoise colour, teal, a little bit of this black, a tiny little bit, don't want it overpowering. Because this paint is quite expensive, that's why I want to test it and see how, you know, how it works. And I don't want to use too much of it to start with. Okay, so this is a 30 mil shot. That's all I use. So I might just do a little swirly, maybe two, three swirls in there. And I'm just gonna oh just gonna lift this up a tiny little bit and just go flip. Oh, it's moving. Okay. Just wait for it a little bit. Let that white get down. Okay, are we ready? Let's go up here so you can see. Oh, wow, look at that cell. Look at those cells. That's really cool. Look at that. I just want to leave. Okay, I'm back. Oh, what the heck happened here? Okay. This is really terrible because I don't have my glasses. I'm really excited because this thing worked out really well. Um, and my, my camera stopped working because my phone is full. So I had to go and delete some some videos to, to be able to show you this. You see that? The sides. And it's not, it's just going nice and nice, nice and slow. There's cells happening here on the side there. I'm just going to try to tilt it over this way a little bit maybe. Or not. I might just leave it like that because it looks pretty cool. Looks really, really cool, actually. I might just see if I can scrape some of this and just pour it down the side here. Just to create a little bit of interest. Because you don't want to waste this one. This is quite an expensive product. Yeah, it's about $19, nearly $20 for a bottle uh, this size, which is 250 milliliters. Okay, it's, uh, it's really cool. It is really cool. I like it. Um, so, okay, I will reveal it now because I didn't want to say anything bad about the the um, the product because that's not well, what I'm about. But the only thing that I can say is it's quite on an expensive side, but when you look at it, you can water it down. Um, this was just straight. The only thing that I watered down was the white, and that's just to help that movement. Um, so here you go. Boom gel stain. Boom gel stain. No additives, no nothing. You just put it on. So what I'll do is I'm going to let this dry actually because I want to see uh, what it looks like when it dries. And I will put a torch on it just to see what happens. Just Okay, so it's popping the bubbles. That's what you want. Nothing else really. 
popping the bubbles and these cells are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm going to bring you down so you can have a better look. Okay, so I'll just go a little bit closer so you can see that. That's um, it's looking pretty cool and I didn't put any of that gold on. Which I forgot all about, but just showing you some really cool effects that this thing makes without uh, there's the sides without any additives nothing just paint really hmm I like that bit there and that bit there so there you have it yep I will definitely um wait for this one to dry completely probably take 24 hours uh, and then um, show you what it looks like then just gonna add a little bit of gold and where to put the gold? I've got to stand up because I can't see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll log here, straight out of the bottle. There you go. A little bit there, and maybe a little bit here. So, what I might do is I might just um, use my little thingy. My little air gun, just to see what it does. Because it's so thick, it's really hard to move it. But it is moving it. Eh? Well, why not play with it while I can? There's that red underneath there. Shelly, I'm going to do something else. My good old hair dryer. See what it does. We all know how much I love my hair dryer. Is this thing still recording? Yep. Okay. Low heat and. Yep, that is pretty cool. That is really cool. Move all that stuff out of the way. I like that. That's more like me. That gold there is nice. Might just add a little bit more gold over on this end here. And then do the same with the hairdryer. Yep, then do the same thing. That's cool. And might just add a tiny little bit of this red and just go, just create a little bit of something there. I can't help myself, I just have to draw things. I'm not your average pourer. <laughs> Just gotta do a little bit. Wonder what happens if I swipe it. Try. Hmm. Oh, I've got all these tiny little cells popping now. 
out of no way. Absolutely out of no way. Tiny little white uh, coming from underneath. Very interesting. I wonder if that has to do with the hairdryer. Very interesting. Try my uh, my heat gun and see what happens. Wonder if it's the heat that's doing that. Very interesting, I tell you. Hmm. Okay, I'll let it. I'll leave it alone now and let it dry. Here it is, guys. It's almost dry. You can see the, the beats uh, sort of symbol in the middle there. Uh, but that's okay. It's almost dry. It's still quite shiny on the side here. That's dry and you can see the the a bit of a shine there. So there you have it. I'm, I'm quite happy with this one. I think I'm going to be happy to do a bit bigger piece on canvas now. All right, so... As usual, stay happy, stay creative and do let me know what you think.